Okay, welcome to another new season of Grand Arena. Um, this actually might be the very last Grand Arena in this specific format. And the devs have confirmed that uh, uh, there's going to be no uh, Grand Arena in the month of June, um, but they may make an announcement pretty soon about the new Grand Arena championships and give us details about that. And hopefully the new championship format is going to start sometime in uh, in this month, if not later. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to probably completely overhaul the way we look at uh, Grand Arena. And I think there's going to be a dev post about it tomorrow as well. So looking forward to that. But uh, I think it's going to be a, a completely different format. The, the 8 versus 8 format that we have right now uh, is probably going to go away and it's going to be replaced completely by the... Uh, format where you you compete against uh, you know thousands of people in one single pool and then once you uh, reach a certain stage stage one of that pool you then advance to the next pool and so on and so forth um, so progressively you get to face uh, better and better opponents as the uh, the season goes along um, we still don't know much details about it i i believe uh, um, i'll just wait for the post tomorrow and uh, and that should be good um so before I we move on to the uh, the offense in this grand arena, there's been other big news which has been released today. The biggest one being uh, uh, Gear 13. Um, so they did confirm that with the Geonosian territory battles, we're going to have uh, a new Gear 13 coming out, um, which is going to be um, it's going to be the the sixth piece out here, and that's obviously going to have a lot of uh, implications uh, in the game. So purely from a game mechanics point of view, there are a, a few things to to keep in mind that uh, that gear thirteen will change. One is obviously the uh, the protection. Now, as you know, um, as you increase every gear level, the protection up, uh, the protection that uh, that the characters get uh, gets enhanced by a certain amount as well. So right now, for example, for tanks, they you 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 can get tanks up to eighty to hundred k health on GK Malak and all of that with the uh, with gear 13 you potentially could have uh you know a 120 130k protection malik uh, running around which will be uh pretty tough to to take down so protection obviously is the very first uh, most obvious uh, uh outcome of of gear 13. there's also going probably going to be a speed bump because this uh, sixth slot out here is uh, uh is probably going to be similar to the slots that we see out here, the, the other two slots, in the sense that it's going to have a plus six uh, a speed associated with it, as long as, as well as some other good stats. So if it's as good as the uh, the, the two G12 plus pieces on the uh, right side of uh, G12, uh, as opposed to the three on the left side, then I, I'm, I'm sure we can expect some really good stats uh, coming out from that. Um, and plus six speed boost is a, is a huge pump up. Um, just imagine you're facing a 330 Dart Revan right now. It's going to be a, a 336 Dart Revan. Um, it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty interesting. And the bigger uh, the outcome of uh, of this is going to be the stats bump that you'll get from Gear 13. Now, what do I mean by that? So, uh, I'm sure a lot of you must be already aware of this, but the stats that uh, that we have in the game uh, that we that the mods are affected by are based on your last gear level. Um, now, what do I mean by that? Let me take an example of uh, of General Grievous. Um, so any mods that I put on over here only count the stats that Grievous has up till gear uh, 11 and doesn't count any of these four, four or five gear pieces that you apply after uh, gear 12. So to give an example of that, um, let's take my Grievous. I've got, with no mods, I've got 39k health. And I've got these three uh, uh, 6,500 health pieces on him. So um, if you count all of that, effectively uh, my mods in gear 12 are adding about uh, 20k, 19, 19k health and uh, or health on uh, on Grievous. So if you subtract 19k from this, about uh, 20k health is uh, is what Grievous is at. At gear, uh, at gear eleven, at max gear eleven, he would be at uh, at twenty uh, k health, and the nineteen k is being added on gear twelve. So the any mods that you add over here, you essentially uh, uh, add the uh, the percentage based on the prior gear uh, level, which is in this case, if I add a percentage health mod, it will only be based on the twenty k health at gear eleven, and not the thirty nine k health 
on gear 12. So just to give you an example of that, let's take a, a health mod. And I'm taking a, a purely health mod over here with no uh, health secondaries. Um, and uh, it's a 16% health mod. So the amount of benefit that I get from this mod is about 3K, which is exactly 16% of uh, 20K, which is the, uh, the, the gear 11 health that Grievous had. Um, once uh, Grievous is at gear 13, that 16% bump up to health would be based on the 39K uh, or, uh, you know, once the 6K health is more, more added back in, it will probably be closer to uh, 45K. So 16% of 45K will be probably closer to 7K, 7, 7.5K. So that's a 4,000 health bump just on the same mod, just from moving from gear 12 to gear 13. So, uh, and imagine, uh, you know, uh, four more uh, plus 16% health primaries on, on Grievous. That's going to be a plus 16,000 health on Grievous. So a, a 65K, a 60 to 65K health Grievous is probably going to end up being closer to 75 to 80K health on the same mods as he moves from gear 12 to, to gear 13. So that's going to be the biggest change from uh, from gear 13, that all the stats that, uh, that the mods get applied on will... Uh, will uh, automatically transform from gear 11 to gear 12 um, and this will apply to, uh, to damage stats uh, any percentage based stats will actually get a huge boost um, health obviously is the biggest benefactor um, but uh, um, but yeah any any other stats like that would get boosted as well which is uh, which is going to be pretty uh, pretty insane and any health based uh, uh, teams um, or health based characters like uh, Padme or GK or Daka, um, these guys uh, are going to get lots of uh, lots of benefit as they move from one gear level to another. Even uh, Talzin, Talzin also adds about I believe twenty k, uh, eight, fifteen to twenty k health in uh, her gear twelve pieces. So those are going to be uh, pretty pretty huge as well. So that's three thousand, six thousand five hundred ten k, and uh, six thousand. Yep. So around uh, sixteen to seventeen k health is added for uh, for Talzin. So uh, so pretty big. So um, so yeah. So that's uh, that's going to be the stat bump. And the the fourth example would be uh, where things would change would be ship speed. Now ship speed, as you know, are ships. We, we don't have any mods on ships, and the speed on ships uh, are dependent on the uh, the character uh, gear as well as character mods. So if you take uh, um, your Admiral Akbar or Biston, for example. Um, let me actually go into the Rebels. <clears throat> right, or let me show you my, my Biston. So right now my Biston is at, uh, I've got both my pilots at G12 and uh, with full G12 plus mods as well. So that gets my Biston up to 151 speed. And I don't have the G12 plus pieces on them, otherwise the max speed, max speed would have been 153. Now, once G12, once uh, these characters get to G13, that speed is automatically going to go up by quite a lot, and it's going to have a, a huge impact in, in in terms of the turn order that the ships have, and uh, and other ship stats as well. So, uh, so that's going to have a big impact. Uh, G G12 is going to have a big impact not only in the character arena, but in the ship arena as well, which uh, which should be pretty interesting. All right, so. Uh, <clears throat> let's uh, let's go over to the uh, Grand Arena battles uh, since that's why you guys are here. Um, um, let's uh, let's see who we are facing in uh, in this session. We are we are going up against Shockwave. Um, again, uh, not a good matchup. Uh, my opponent does not have uh, Darth Revan and is running, uh, I believe, uh, uh, Jedi Knight Revan in the arena or Treya, one of these. Um, no Darth Revan, uh, no Malak, obviously, and uh, no Millennium Falcon as well. So pretty. Uh, uh, it should be a pretty uh, straightforward match. My, despite the roster mismatch, my opponent has uh, uh, set a pretty decent defense, which we'll we'll talk about. But what I did was uh, because of the mismatch, I decided not to place any meta teams on uh, on defense. Um, I didn't keep my I kept my JTR team. <clears throat> I want to see how uh, how that does on defense. I've kept my Bastila and the EP, which is extremely. Uh, which is extremely potent. It's a it's a pretty good combination. So if you don't have Darth Revan or or Malak in your in your uh, roster, consider keeping Bastille under EP on defense. 
uh, and replace Tarkin with Thrawn. That that makes it a really uh, strong defense. Um, I've got my Kira Scoundrel team. I've got my Evox I've kept here. I've got my Night Sisters, which did pretty well in my, my last Grand Arena. Uh, I found out later that my opponent took his uh, Sith trio alone against my Night Sisters and lost against them. So they, they managed to get a defense against a Sith trio, which I was pretty, uh, pretty excited about. Um, I've kept my Admiral Akbar uh, hide the Acolyte and Leia trick team over here with Nest as the acting as the uh, uh, zombie tank. Um, and instead of Hans, Captain Hans Solo over here as the fifth, I've kept Juhani in here. <clears throat> Juhani is another tank who, uh, uh, in uh, tandem with Nest, can get quite irritating. She has a tank, she has a taunt of, of her own, um, and she recovers her own health and protection. So she's a very self contained tank. <clears throat> and uh, once Agbar is killed, uh, you know, uh, the taunt will uh, will basically, uh, uh, it'll uh, flip between Nest and uh, and Juhani. Juhani, once she gets under 100% health, she'll go into stealth just like Leia and uh, an Acolyte. And uh, when, she when she recovers enough protection with her AoE, she comes back, pops out of stealth, and then... Uh, uh, can continue tanking and uh, and give Nest a break. So it, I think it's a it's a good dynamic. This was suggested by uh, one of my uh, my viewers in the, in the comment section of my last video, and I thought I'll try it out this time. Um, if my opponent decides to attack me, I'll get to see uh, how this performs on defense. And then I've just kept a Rex Wampa team uh, as uh, as the fifth as the last team over here. So none of my meta teams. It should be pretty uh, uh, pretty easy to take these out. Uh, might have some problem with the Night Sisters, but I don't anticipate uh, this defense to hold much. Um, and on uh, ships, I did not keep my Millennium Falcon. I just kept my Mace Timeout team. Um, thought it'd be a good op option to see how my Mace Timeout team fares against a non-Millennium Falcon offense. Um, so my opponent has kept uh, a weak uh, Akbar team. I think this probably might be one of his uh, weakest teams. Um, I believe he runs Starkin in the arena. <clears throat> Um, so let me go ahead and uh, use my uh, Millennium Falcon to take that out, and then we'll go to the character section. All right. And then I like to go in with a finisher. So there's no real benefit of leaving an empty slot for ships. Uh, you still get the same max points whether you... Uh, um, you leave an empty slot or whether you don't call your your uh, ships in. it's uh, You still get max points, so I won't worry too much about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this AOE character just so that uh, I don't end up uh, uh, losing protection on, on all my characters with this. Okay, I'll probably just lose protection on one. I'm going to try healing up my bigs. See if I can't go for max points. I probably won't get max health. 65, so one less. Okay, um, that's a good outcome. <clears throat> Let's move ahead to the character section and see what our opponent has set for us to take down today. Okay, so my opponent did keep his Jedi Knight Revan team in the uh, arena, um, in the uh, uh, on defense. Um, it's a it's a weak Jedi Knight Revan team, so we'll we'll tackle that towards the end. Um, they kept their Bosk, uh, Jin team, Ewoks, Troopers, Maul, and uh, crew. So relatively weak teams. Um, so shouldn't be uh, much of an issue taking these down. So let's start with the Ewoks, uh, and I'll go with my with my Troopers against them. I'm planning to uh, to test something out versus the uh, the Jedi Knight Revan team, which is why I want to end the rest of my matches with the uh, with decent points, with decent banners, and just so that I can uh, um, just so that I can test something out uh, in the last battle, and, and I can afford to basically lose uh, one battle if I if I test that out. Okay, uh, let's keep chipping away at them. All right. Okay, so troopers got sixty. Let's um, move over to the next team. 
let's uh, they've kept the troopers on defense as well so let's uh, attack these troopers how fast is the star let's quickly check that 216 so with the bonus 220 236 uh not that fast so i did save my karth uh, team on uh, on offense this time so i almost never get to play with them on offense so i thought i'll try that out uh, today um and they're another team which are uh, pretty good uh, to help end with full health and protection especially if you've got the uh, uh, leadership zeta on it they recover uh, health and protection pretty well um and uh, let's see uh, as the fifth over here since i've kept johani on defense um you can go with wampa wampa also i've kept on defense um, you could go with uh, a character like Hermit Yura who tops off health and protection um, and also provides master training, another form of assist. Um, or you could go with someone like Malik. Um, of course, you don't want to break him from a, from a Darth Revan team. But what I'm planning to do is uh, I'm planning to go in with uh, with Sidious, who's also got Dot Synergy. Few people have uh, gone with uh, Vader as well, but um, I think Sidious' is AoE is a, is a great AoE heal for uh, for this team. So let's see how Karth does against troopers. And these days there are so many counters to Karth which are coming up that uh, it's uh, not really that uh, that great to to keep these guys on uh, on defense anymore. All right, so let's get rid of uh, Dead Trooper first since he can apply healing immunity. There's a tremendous amount of damage on this team. So unfortunately, there's healing immunity on uh, on on this guy on a mission which she's just dispelled. So hopefully now she should recover back to full uh, protection. Um, we'll probably be able to do that with Karth as well, maybe, but probably not. Uh, no, we lost two banners, Karth and Sidious. That's fine. Um, but uh, but yeah, you saw the speed at which these guys took down uh, um, the troopers. Now, agreed it was a weak trooper team, but even a beefier team, keeping these guys on offense might actually be a decent thing um, because these guys get taken out pretty easily these days with um, um, on defense. There's um, Evoc teams, there's Phoenix teams, there's uh, Rex Wampa, um, and a weak Galactic Republic can take them out pretty easily as well. So maybe it might be a good idea to just keep them on offense and uh, and you know just burn through a team which doesn't have any cleanse or or tenacity up um, or days. I think uh, you know any one any kind of team like that would do uh, great against uh, um, against Karth. All right, so let's uh, let's see what else we want to take down. There's a weak bounty hunter team over here as well. Let's take our troopers, uh, our crew against that and. Uh, a uh, good strong crew team. It's pretty easy to end with the uh, full health and full protection um, against a bounty hunter team. Um, so so we should be doing that. So let's stun Bosk and uh, let's give some turn meter to Kylo so that he gives turn meter to everyone and then we can start taking out. I like to take out uh, um, Bova first just because his execute is a pretty deadly it can get pretty deadly okay turn meter to everyone again okay AV again and let's uh, let's uh, let's keep the taunt on uh, Django and so I'm going to use my basic over here taunt on crew I'm going to dispel this guy and attack uh, attack boss this time. Let's see if he can't get rid of uh, Boba. All right. And now let's uh, try to get rid of Zam since uh, She's got thermals, which can do percentage health damage, which is difficult to recover from. And now we uh, stun Bosk again. 
So I'm going to give uh, the turn meter to Fox since he needs to recover some healing. All right, I'm going to keep my basic on crew. It's very easy for crew to recover health and protection. So I always attack a debuffed enemy with my basic to keep the taunt on him so that, uh, you know, weaker characters like First Order Officer and uh, and Fox are not targeted. Okay, now I'm going to keep giving... Uh, Turn meter to Fox so that he can heal a bit with, with buffs. Basic. Healing immunity. All right. So the last longer this lasts, the more chance I have for uh, Fox to recover to full protection. And so uh, crew, uh, the First order officer in this sense acts sort of like a healer just because he can give buffs to others which ends up healing them. So I'm going to give the buff again to Fox and he ends up uh, healing to full. So now we've got uh, our full team at max banners, full health and full protection. All right, 60 banners. So that was easy enough. Um, let's go attack the... Uh, um, Let's attack the Jin team next with uh, with Bounty Hunters. The Bounty Hunters are great against these guys. Uh, boss Cleat I'm going with to maximize banners. Um, just because uh, on offense I like to go Boss Cleat to, for banners. On defense I like to keep Django lead. Because, uh, uh, you know, holds don't matter as much as taking out protection and health. Um, and uh, a Django lead has got great offense. And uh, they can be quite problematic for, uh, for teams to face on... Uh, on defense so uh, offense always boss lead defense Django lead especially for the Zeta um, so Jin I like to take bo uh, bounty hunters against Jin and company because the, in this particular lineup they've got uh, two taunts and both uh, Boba and boss can uh, Boba and uh, Django can go around taunt to kill off some of these weaker guys um, so um, that's always good um, so let's go ahead and do that makes it easy to uh, Recover health and protection. And uh, let's go with some AoE debuffers. Um, Dengar and... And Zam. Yeah, Zam is fine. Okay, so... <clears throat> Let's uh, start with a taunt and let's apply some ability block on Jin. Uh, let's get some burning going and let's drop some thermals. Some more thermals. All that heals them up pretty well. Um, so this is great because uh, Jin teams have got plenty of uh, um, heal over times, which act as a as great fodder for uh, for Django and uh, for for uh, Boba specifically because he does damage based on the um, the number of debuffs or, and buffs on the opponent. So almost got rid of Jin. There we go. Now let's work on Cassian. Also, the good thing is none of these guys apply healing immunity, which can get uh, problematic for uh, bounty hunters. All right, they should finish off Cassian as well. Let's apply some more. So you can see that the battle is an, under total control. We've got uh, uh, two characters out. We are at full health and full protection at no danger of uh, losing any. And uh, we've got our contracts triggered as well. Okay, let's... Uh, so any uh, AoE debuff ability acts like a mass heal for the team.
Okay, let's go around taunt and get rid of uh, Chirut. So now we just have Bayes left. Okay, who do we try to take out? I think uh, Bayes has, um, K2SO has got more buffs and debuffs, so let's try for that. There we go. Now we just need to make sure that uh, we are at full health and full protection. This should do it. All right, so 60 banners over there. Rogue One used to be good um, way back before probably a little bit before CLS came out, um, but uh, they haven't been good in a while. Um, definitely not on defense, especially with all the Wampas running around. So um, I'm actually glad I didn't uh, develop my Rogue One team. Um, I My base is still not unlocked and my Chirut is only at five star. Um, so I complete my P6 of the, uh, um, light side territory battle mission with, the uh, with Biston and, and Scarif Rebel Pathfinder, both of whom I have at G12. So, um, Bayes and Chirut were, were never actually developed for me. Um, and I, I think given the amount of gearing priority that I have right now, they'll probably stay that way. All right. So which team do we want to tackle next? We can probably go after the crew team. Or maybe the mall team. Maybe I'll use a uh, Padme against the mall team. Um, there's plenty of debuffs that uh, that these guys spread around, so that's always good to have in a pa in a Padme team because that all of that gets converted to uh, to courage. Um, and uh, none of those once it gets converted to courage and these guys have bonus protection, none of that is going to stick. So uh, and they've got plenty of dispel in the form of Ahsoka, who's going to be. Uh, um dispelling uh, uh whenever uh, any anyone uses a special ability so let's try galactic republic against this and see uh, how it does um i'll probably take in this team this is a classic galactic republic team that i like to go in on uh, and this is a team that i've used uh, against darth revens in my arena as well um, I've been having a lot of success with them especially if your padme goes uh, slower than uh, the malik um, you have a chance to cleanse the shock and cleanse all the debuffs from uh, from Basti and give plenty of courage to the team the, and uh, and go from there. So um, hopefully in the next uh, one or two rounds, I'll, I'll probably get to face a, a Darth Malik and I can showcase how this team works then. Um, in case you... I, I currently have both my Zetas on, uh, on Padme and I've modeled her for health and... Uh, uh, very slow speed 239 but in case you don't have your zetas on padme and you've got a, a weaker padme um, but you still want to use the galactic republic team you can uh, do something like this and uh, maybe Paris instead of uh, yeah so this is another good option for those with weaker galactic republic teams uh, and the logic behind this team is uh, general kenobi's lead uh, gives 30% max health, which is, uh, you know, with all the production up going around, that's going to benefit everyone more, some additional um, help. Um, plus, uh, all the Jedi will get defense up. So except for Padme, the rest of them are going to get extra defense, so they're going to be more tanky. And uh, anytime that a, that a Jedi uses a healing ability, all allies are called to assist. And we've got... Uh, Two Jedi over here who can use healing abilities. You've got uh, you've got Barris obviously who can use her heal to call everyone in to assist, um, and you've also got Ahsoka Tano who a uh, special ability uh, acts as a heal, um, and will uh, um, it does a couple of things. It first uh, since both Anakin and General Kenobi are are in the team, it'll deal damage three times. And uh, at the same time, since this ability is a heal, it'll call all allies to uh, to assist uh, under uh, General Kenobi leadership. So there are actually uh, three mass assists on this, four mass assists actually on this team. You've got uh, General Kenobi's mass assist, you've got Barasofi's mass assist, you've got uh, uh, Ahsoka's mass assist on healing as well, and you've got Padme's mass assist on uh, on her special which also stuns which calls uh, all galactic republic to uh, to assist so plenty of mass assists on this team so uh, great for uh, for those focus damages um plus it's uh, anytime that a mass assist is called 
Ahsoka will be called with them and she'll be called a second time because a special ability is being used by a Galactic Republic member. So Ahsoka gets to go twice on uh, on any Mass Assist, similar to how uh, under GK, uh, uh, if you use a mission on Zalbar, Zalbar gets to go twice, once on her own and once because uh, 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 Zalabar is taking action, Mission gets to go again. So Mission gets to go twice in that team. Similarly, Ahsoka gets to go twice in this team. So that's another team to try out if you uh, if you have a weak Padme or don't have the leadership Zeta or the unique Zeta on Padme. You could try that out. Um, but I'm just going to go in with, the, <clears throat> with this team um, to take out, um, um, I believe it was the Maul team. So let's, uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so he did his Makashi thing and uh, everyone is on stealth. I'm just going to dispel with basic. And uh, I'm, uh, another reason that uh, uh, Jedi Knight Anakin is great against these Sith is uh, healing immunity. Um, healing immunity once is applied, these guys have a tough time healing, especially Savage, since he's a uh, Zeta, it's going to be really tough. There you go. So once GK starts taunting, uh, there's really nothing to stop him um, because uh, there's so much of protection up. He can't get debuffed and he's not going to lose the taunt just because, uh, um, you know, um, there's there's so many sources of protection up. So I'm going to call in, since Anakin already has translation and uh, Ahsoka is going to assist anyway, I'm going to call in GK. Uh, what translation that giving translation to GK also has additional benefit because it increases his max health and uh, and gives him uh, translation, which means that uh, his bonus protection is going to be uh, is going to be huge. I'm going to call in a mass assist on uh, Sith Trooper. And uh, let's uh, see if he can't take out Sith Trooper with the mass assist. There we go. So none of the debuffs are, are landing because of the uh, bonus uh, protection, which is great. So um, so I can do one of two things. I can either do a basic, and if there's a critical hit on the basic, it'll dispel all debuffs on Ahsoka and a random Galactic Republic, which in this case is, uh, is Padme. So my basic can act as a cleanse in this case to cleanse Padme, or I can just uh, attempt to finish off... Uh, uh maul now because uh with the special uh, because my uh uh because ahsoka has got 14 stacks of courage um even if i do a basic maul is going to get uh, taken out pretty easily <clears throat> so let me just do a basic and take uh, maul out and that will also end up cleansing padme uh, and of course it dodged all right so let's uh finish off okay another dodge there uh let's put some confuse on this guy and let me put some uh, um, <clears throat> retribution so that Padme assists and let her assist again. All right. So now Anakin has got 26 stacks of courage. So the good thing about courage is um, if you end up uh, killing the person before all the stacks of courage are, are uh, utilized, it still remains. So it's not expended all at once. Um, uh, so as long as the damage is just enough, the courage is not uh, expended. So in this case, you see the just Anakin's basic damage was enough. Um, so we, the, all the 26 stacks of courage were still there. 16 stacks of courage here. So let's, uh, let's take out. Okay, so Sid has got extra evasion against a Jedi as well. So it's going to take a while to get him down. <laughs> He's going to end up evading a lot. Okay, and this is how AoE works with courage. So if you've got multiple characters on the field with the, with Anakin's uh, special available, um, if you use the AoE, only the character that you're targeting will, uh, will get the courage uh, stacks exhausted on them. And the other uh, characters will just take the regular damage on... Uh, uh, on them. So in this case, uh, the 28 stacks of courage are going to be uh, used up against uh, your uh, your Savage and uh, and Sid just got the regular amount of damage. And uh, we had 26 stacks of damage on uh, on 
uh, Jedi Knight Anakin, and only uh, eight stacks got used up. So the other eighteen are still around over here. So and uh, this Master Sis should kill uh, uh, Sidious pretty easily because we've got eighteen stacks of courage, sixteen, fourteen. So let's just give this to uh, Ahsoka, and everyone will be called to assist, and it's game over. Fifty-seven. Um, so these guys, as I mentioned in my last video, they have no way of uh, getting protection back. They, they have plenty of veils to heal, but no way to get protection back. So it's uh, you'll always end up with less banners in, in, a, in a team like this. Right, so that was the demonstration of uh, Padme team against Maul. Um, we've got a couple of teams over here. Let's... Uh, we still has have, have quite a lot of offense left, so let's just uh, and I think we're doing pretty okay on efficiency. So let's go ahead and uh, use a CLS team against uh, um against the crew. Let's see where are the rebels. <clears throat> mm. I'm probably gonna go in with the. Uh, a rebel who can uh, recover protection. So I want someone who's tanky so that uh, CLS gets guard. He's 64k. And uh, at the same time is able to recover their own protection. 60k. Okay. So I think CLS will still get guard. I could have gone with the uh, with old Ben or Scarif Rebel Pathfinder, but they've got no way to recover protection. So let me try this one out. I want to end with 60, 61 points. Um, and one major change that I made in this Grand Arena in terms of uh, modding for uh, for Chewbacca, since in a, in a Chewy team, in a uh, CLS team, uh, the main damage from Chewbacca comes with this 20% uh, uh, um, damage to max health. Usually, I used to, to uh, mod Chewbacca for uh, for critical damage or offense, but in this Grand Arena, I, did, I decided to do something different. I decided to mod him completely for survivability, for protection. I've got him at almost 90k protection and 37k health, so I think protection primary is almost everywhere. Um, and the reason is is that even on the on the on the arrow, the reason is that uh, the longer Chewbacca hangs around. Um, the easier it becomes for your team to take down uh, anyone else. So if you go against a Revan team, for example, and Chewbacca gets marked, um, it's uh, he'll take that much longer to to get down. And that means more chances for your team to to succeed. And if you decide to keep this on defense, your Chewbacca is going to be uh, the first one that they'll target, your opponent. So uh, uh, having him tanky ends up, uh, uh, you know, uh, he ends up being sort of like a Zulu tank, similar to how... Uh, a Treya is in a, a, when going up against Jedi Knight Revan. She's always going to get targeted, so might as well mod her tanky. Um, so that's my rationale behind that. It's the first time I'm trying this out. Um, today I'm using him on offense, but I might just decide to leave uh, Chewie and CLS on defense one of these days to see uh, whether it's more difficult for my opponents to take this out or not. Um, so, yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, and uh, and finish this crew team with uh, with with this um set up so let's take out uh, they don't have fox over here so let's uh let's take out their main damage dealer all right and uh then let's go after phasma so i'm going to start taunting okay let's dispel everything and let's just take out Phasma. And then we'll go after, uh, yeah, this guy is almost dead. So let's just take out First Order Stormtrooper. Let's uh, stun this guy. Stun him again. Now, uh, Crew and Kylo both don't take any... Uh, damage from percentage health effects so it can take a little while to uh, get them down um, which is why you almost uh, never go in with the uh, with uh, c3po against them unless you have a uh, buff immunity 
I'm wondering if I made a mistake over here and I should have taken maybe some buff immunity over here. Maybe a big hit can finish them off. Let me land a stun over here. Taunt. There we go. Yeah, but I don't rec recommend taking a um, C3PO against these guys. Definitely not. Big hit. And another big hit should do it. Yeah. So ended up with 60 banners. I think I lost one protection on uh, um, on Chopper. But I'm trying to think if there's any uh, rebels which land uh, healing immunity because the reason that teams like JTR and uh, uh, well back when uh, Finn still had his uh, Zeta, uh, Finn and Sidious used to do so well is because they had healing healing immunity, which uh, really prevented Kylos from uh, from healing when they got uh, bonus protection uh, when they get uh, you know health and protection recovery on uh, on status effects. So, um, which is another reason why sometimes uh, against weaker teams, troopers do pretty well as well, since uh, dead trooper has got healing immunity as well. Um, so, I can't really think of any rebels which have uh, healing immunity. Um, but uh, I think uh, those might be, uh, uh, if there was someone who can give healing immunity, those might be a good option. Maybe taking in Sidious as a, as a character against them, uh, as a fifth with rebels, might be a good enough option. Um, so we have one team left, um, the Jedi Knight Revan team, and we have uh, quite a lot of offense left with us. We've got our Darth Revan team, we've got our uh, um, Jedi Knight Revan team, we have Treya, we have Basti if you want to use it, and we have our Grievous team. But what I really wanted to do is, since I think we've had pretty decent efficiency in the rest of the battles, we got 65 points in ships and uh, almost 57 to 60 points in... Uh, in um, the character sections um, and I seriously doubt whether my opponent is going to attack me given that he's kept a lot of good teams on defense. I uh, I think I, I might decide to experiment with uh, one or two teams uh, in order to take down this Jedi Knight Revan team. Now this is not a strong Jedi Knight Revan team, it's pretty slow um, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to try my uh, my Grievous team against, uh, against this to, uh, to see uh, how well it does. Um, now, the team I was planning to use is, uh, let's see, this is the uh, the team that I plan to run long term for uh, Separatists, which is Grievous with B1 and B2, um, all of them Zeta. Grievous doesn't have leadership Zeta, but uh, all unique Zeta is on the, on the three of them. And then I have Count Dooku and Newt um, that I want to try out in this team. Um, I'm, I'm shelving... Uh, a droidica for this particular match. Uh, my long-term goal is to, to put a Zeta on Newt. I've been hearing some really good things about that Zeta. And uh, before I put the Zeta and put these guys on defense, I want to test these guys out on offense, take them for a, for a run against Revan, and see how these guys perform, what the mechanics are. And that'll give me a better understanding of whether uh, you know Newt fits in this team and whether uh, the Zeta is worth it. Because what the Zeta does is, uh, for Newt, it adds uh, um, every time... Uh, well, it's not given over here, but every time that uh, a separatist ally uh, applies a, a debuff, um, they do damage equal to 5% max health. Um, so that really softens up a lot of teams and makes, uh, and especially because there's so many AoE debuffs being applied over here, uh, Grievous, B1, and B2 all apply uh, AoE debuffs. Uh, and... Uh, Count Dooku does a lot of countering as well and applies debuffs on his basic as well as his special. Uh, quite a few debuffs, actually. Um, so all these guys have a potential to do a lot of percentage health damage. Uh, and extortion is a good mechanic as well. It can reduce cooldowns. It can uh, uh, increase the critical chance and critical damage of your own team and uh, uh, dispel all buffs on the enemy team, which is great against buff-heavy teams like uh, uh, you know Revan uh, teams, Jedi teams, um, first order and uh, and other teams like that, Evox. Um, so yeah, or any stealth based team as well. So I'm going to try this out and see uh, 
how uh, how this battle pans out now i i did not uh, show my mods but uh, my uh, b2 battle droid is modded for uh, for a lot of protection because he's going to be the main tank out here um all right so i went before revan um let me go and uh, i think his revan is pretty slow 270 speed with the bonus and my uh, dooku is 271 so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to do the repost which gives all uh, separate stylized except tanks 15 person turn meter and then i'm going to uh, yeah, let me just keep continuing. And because my uh, my separate stylized got turn meter, they're all going before uh, uh, their team, which is great to see. Now I'm gonna give, uh, I could either give extortion to uh, Jedi Knight Revan, or I could uh, give motivate, which uh, uh, increases the cooldown by one. So Mark is not gonna be available for Revan if I use motivate. So I think I'm gonna do that it got resisted so i think motivate is an ability which gets resisted pretty easily so grievous got marked uh let's see if we can't uh, burn down some guys so good thing is yoda has healing immunity uh, buff immunity oh okay so this is not looking that good let's hope oh so b1 uh, grievous got taken out which is not good news any other guy it would have been great but uh, grievous is not good news and my b1 really didn't get a turn otherwise i would have uh, healed up grievous a bit let me see how much damage i can do against these guys oh excellent this is great um Buff immunity, healing immunity, um, just buff immunity, and uh, the tank is also uh, not taunting anymore. Savior has been procced, and he's been uh, um, he's been stunned as well. Now I'm going to attack uh, um, Revan and take him out because it looks like. Revan has got uh, is looking pretty weak out there. If only I had my Grievous, he would have finished off these guys uh, pretty easily. All right, so let me try uh, giving extortion to uh, Yoda. There. So Yoda is taken out and now Revan will be taken out as well unless Jolie brings them back. So there's no GK over here, um, but this team is, uh, it's, it's a weak team, but it's performing decently well. Let's try to keep uh, Jolie under control. This is great. Dooku has been doing a great job against Jedi. Plenty of stuns. All of his stuns are landing. I believe I have my Dooku modded with the uh, 160 um, percent potency. Let's give some turn meter to everyone. And heal up Dooku. And let's reduce his cooldown so that he doesn't... The cooldown was resisted. All right, that's uh, it's difficult to target Yoda. Let's try to get Yoda down. If Grievous is here, it would have been an easy job. He would have easily uh, gotten rid of these guys. Okay, finally we got extortion. So I'll have to go in with another battle, but these guys are holding up pretty well. If Grievous was around, I think this would have been a really easy battle. And they would, they would have done a lot of percentage damage, health as well, if Newt had the Zeta. 
So I think I'm convinced that, uh, um, yeah, I think I'm convinced about new theta over here. So yeah, so Jolie managed to revive uh, her Grandmaster Yoda towards the end, which is not ideal, but I think we are uh, we are in good shape. Uh, we've got enough uh, offense to take this out. Let's just go in with our, our Jedi team and clean it up. I just wanted to get a feel of the Separatist team. Um, and this was against a Jedi Knight Revan team. So against any other team, these guys would have, uh, the Separatists would have melted uh, um, that team because you saw how many uh, um, debuffs were being applied. Um, so imagine each of those debuffs applied was 5% uh, health damage. Um, that that would have been huge with uh, with Newt. Um, so I think, uh, and with any other team, uh, Grievous wouldn't have been taken out that easily at, at the first. It was just unfortunate that he got marked first and taken out. But... Uh, um, I think uh, I think I'm pretty happy with that team, and uh, I might just uh, yeah, I might just uh, I might just put the Zeta on Newt um, for my next one. All right, so let's uh, let's try to clean up this team. Okay, so let's go in with Jedi Knight Revan. They have been softened up a bit, um, so should be easy enough to take him out. Master's training to Yoda. There he goes. Uh, let's try to take out Jolie as soon as we can. And then Bastilla, since Yoda is under stealth. Some healing going. Spread some buffs around. Heal everyone. Probably lose one banner, maybe. Let's call Sharonet uh, Revan to assist. Oh no. Okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. We got 40 banners, which is the equivalent of 60 banners if I had gone in on the, on the first attempt. So everyone ended up with full health and full protection. So um, so that was it. That's the clear of this team, um, of uh, this board. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm pretty happy with the, with the Separatist team. What I'll do is I'll keep the Separatist team on offense over the next uh, couple of matches as well, um, just because I want to test them out a little more. Um, I have the modded pretty well, in fact. Um, let me go ahead and, and show you my mods on the Separatist team. Um, let's see, yeah. So my um, my B2 battle droid, I've modded with tenacity and tons of protection. So he's at 136% tenacity and 74k protection. Um, because he's the only tank on the team and uh, once Grievous goes below 100% health, he's the one who's going to get marked. You want him to hang around a bit. Uh, B1, I've modded for offense. Uh, pretty decent amount of offense. He does uh, He does tend to go a lot and uh, and do some damage. Um, and I believe I've got a potency cross on him as well. I've got Newt, who uh, I've modded for speed and a little bit of survivability. I've given some protection primaries. Um, he's, I believe, at 2 250, 240, 250 speed. Um, I don't have the mod on him right now, but he's about 250 speed um, and really nothing else. Uh, his main damage is utility. Just by being there, he does a lot of good things like give motivate extortion um, and uh, apply this 5% uh, max health damage on inflicting debuff. Um, and he also gets an extra life uh, because he revives once uh, and goes into stealth the first time he dies. So, so that's good. And then I have my uh, my Grievous, who I usually mod for uh, for health with a critical damage uh, triangle, and Dooku, who I usually mod for potency. My um, and I put my potency set on Dooku, and um, let me show you how he's modded. So count Dooku. So when I apply my my GA slash TW set, he's at two seventy one speed and one hundred sixty six percent potency. Uh, General Grievous lead does give uh, the other droids, uh, you know, stacking potency, but the non-droids like Dooku and, and Newt Gunray don't get that uh, potency. 
So you need to mod them naturally with potency if you want them to uh, um, to um, to have uh, to land debuffs. And you saw in that match, uh, my Dooku was uh, was landing debuffs all the time, um, all stunning the Jedi uh, almost every single turn, shocking them. So I was pretty happy with the, with the performance there. So even if you don't decide not to take uh, this team against a, a Jedi Knight Revan team, against any Jedi team, I think uh, these guys will do great. Uh, I'm not sure about the Padme Galactic Republic team. Buff immunity is really helpful against them. Um, but uh, with all the assists and counters that uh, B1 and Dooku have, uh, I'm not sure if... Uh, if with the Padme unique, these guys will do a decent job or not. Uh, maybe I can try it out if my opponent decides to keep uh, Padme on defense in the uh, uh, next time. But on paper, they may be a decent counter to uh, to Padme teams, but uh, we'll have to test it out to see if uh, if that's the case. Um, Dooku especially has got a lot of uh, good uh, anti anti Galactic Republic synergy. It's got double the chance. Uh, it's got a hundred percent chance to attack again, uh, uh, attack twice against Galactic Republic. And uh, inflict stun. He's got a uh, uh, hundred percent chance to shock and stun uh, uh, two Galactic Republic allies. So if you've got his potency high enough, I think he may be a decent enough to control a Galactic Republic team. But uh, uh, it remains to be seen in in practice. All right. So that's the uh, the end of this Grand Arena session. Hope you uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will. Uh, I will catch you guys on the uh, the next uh, Grand Arena session. I so in my group of eight, I have uh, uh, two or three of them who've got uh, Darth Revan and Malak uh, decently geared. Um, so I'm looking forward to to facing some of them in uh, either in the next round or in the uh, in the finals, um, and decently modded as well. Um, there's Eloidsky and I think one or two more. There's there's Andros Skyblade who's uh, who's uh, got Darth Revan, but no Malak. And Andros, if you remember, uh, if you've a couple of days back, if you've seen the uh, the Operation Metaverse uh, uh, Grand Arena stream, Team Money's opponent was uh, was Andros. So he's uh, uh, and he's had a pretty tough defense against uh, against Team Money. And uh, I was just watching that stream, and uh, um, it was a it was a good defense. And I wouldn't mind going up against uh, Andros in uh, in the next uh, one or two Grand Arenas. Um, but uh, let's see if we get mashed up or not, because I believe Andros is facing Eloidsky, and whoever wins will move on to the uh, the next round. So, so yeah, so I, I'm sure in the next uh, couple of rounds we'll face some better opponents, um, and I'm uh, really looking forward to Championship Grand Arena, where uh, we'll get to face some uh, um, we'll get to face some increasingly tougher opponents as the session moves along. So that was it for uh, for the first round of uh, this season of Grand Arena. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will uh, catch you guys in a couple of days for the uh, for the next session.